Okay, so these are principles of A.G. Gaston, so pay close attention. A.G. Gaston had a lot of money. I think he, I could have sworn I read that he was worth $130 million at one point. Yeah, that, I got to double check that. My goodness. Save part of all that you earn. Pay yourself first. Take it off the top and bank it. You'll be surprised how fast the money builds up. If you have two or three thousand dollars in the bank, sooner or later somebody will come along and show you how to double it. Money doesn't spoil, keep it. I like that because basically what I teach my students is that saving saving is like cocking the gun and investing and squeezing the trigger. So you save up so that when the opportunity comes, you're ready to take advantage of it. Two, establish a reputation at a bank or, or savings and loan association. Save at an established institution and borrow there. Stay away from loan sharks. So keep your interest rates low. Borrow your money at a low rate. Rent your money at a cost you can afford. Take no chances with your money. Play, oh, go ahead. Take no chances with your money. Play mm -hmm. the safe number, the good one. A man can't afford to lose, has no business gambling. Yep, like that. Four, never borrow anything that if forced to, you can't pay back. Mm. That I think about 95% of the American public has been trained to violate that rule on a regular basis. It's number five. Don't get big headed with the little fellas. That's where the money is. If you stick with the little fellas, give them your devotion, they'll make you big. Mm. That is a good point. I like that. Always. Because you never know where someone's going to end up, mm -hmm. even though they're small. Well, and it also just comes back to just being a good person. Mm -hmm. You know, don't be, don't be, get, don't be big time in people. You know, because you never know how things are going to change. Um, don't have so much pride. Wear the same suit for a year or two. Huh. It doesn't make any difference what kind of suit the pocket is in if there is no money in the pocket. <laughs> Number seven is good. Find the need and fill it. Yes. Successful businesses are founded on the needs of the people. Once in business, keep good books. Also mm -hmm. hire the best people you can find. Mm, excellent advice. Eight, stay in your own class. Never run around with people you can't compete with. Huh, compete with, interesting. Yes, I'm not sure about that. I'm, I'm, I have to think about that one a little bit. What's number nine? Once you get money or a reputation for having money, people will give you money. That's a fact. Mm, that is true. Or they're going to come try to borrow it, too. <laughs> well, no, like people with money get a lot of free stuff. Like, you know, they just want to give, true. give people. I'm like, they already have money. That's so true. That is true. I get a lot of free t shirts. You do. I got a whole closet full of shirts. <laughs> <laughs> I think we can make a quilt. <laughs> yep. Uh, once you reach a certain bracket, it is very difficult to not make more money. That That's true, too. That's true, too. Money tends to be attracted to money. And uh, once you kind of break through and kind of learn how to make it and, and you have a little bit and then you start hanging out with people that have it and they start mm -hmm. inviting you to be part of their business deals and all kinds of stuff and next thing you know a lot of good things just happen naturally money is no good unless it contributes something to the community unless it builds a bridge to a better life any man can make money but it takes a special kind of man to use it responsibly yes sir excellent point excellent point yeah here's an interesting um legacy like you know he uh he went to school to the 10th grade and he uh he worked in a coal mine and he started selling these lunches to the other coal miners and then he started he started a little bank where he would loan them money for interest and he made he made money from the interest and then he um his mother i think when he was 13 his his mother oh and you know this was actually after him and his mom had moved to the um uh to live with this jewish family but he saw how they were kind of moving when it came to money and he was like okay this is how you make the real money so ag gaston all right see you guys later peace